Hey guys, welcome back to uh, day four of the 20 day dreamers challenge. Okay, where I guide you to pursue your dream and to kickstart you know, what you have in your heart to do. Okay, so uh, I hope that yesterday's challenge, uh, challenge three about taking your imagination seriously, you know, got you really thinking, okay, about how to uh, use your imagination, okay, to uh, do something about your dream. So today's challenge is really going deeper and really helping you see uh, how important uh, your imagination is. Okay, challenge number four is about giving yourself permission to dream. Okay, why I want to say this because a lot of people have not given themselves the permission to dream. So usually at this point in their dream process, right, they will start to doubt. Okay. Hong Tech or HD, this this thing about dreaming, about using your imagination is so child's play. Okay, why do you ask a grown-up adult like me, right, to talk about, to 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 go back to our my childhood and become uh, childish again? So I'm not talking about being childish. I'm just talking about using a childlike faculty that's often always been with you and as you grow up you sort of lost that uh, dream again okay and you lost uh, that sense of uh, using your imagination right to go for what you want uh, so you end up being programmed by the past to do what you've always been doing and when when a new dream comes or when something that God calls you to do you're not able to reprogram your, your mind. So your programming uh, is being controlled by the past, okay, rather than you having the ability to reprogram your mind for what is uh, in the future. So my challenge to you about giving yourself permission to dream is to, to um, take what I've been asking you to do the past three challenges seriously. Remember, uh, in the last, uh, in, in two, two days ago, I asked you to prepare a journal, right? And then at the back of the journal to write down the word dreams, right? Then I want you to write down what dream you have, okay? Either in words or in picture, okay? So today's challenge is about giving yourself permission to dream is to actually put a picture of it here, okay? Like what I have, for example, here is... I have one called Holiday in Spain and Portugal, okay, as an example, okay, this was my dream, okay, I had this in my actual journal, okay, this is just an example journal that I'm doing it for you, and I had that picture of uh, Spain and Portugal trip, okay, that I, I always wanted to do and bring my wife, okay, and it's part also of my relationship dream to improve in my uh, marriage okay we're actually celebrating our sort of 25th anniversary uh, in, in this trip as well you know trying to do our marriage wow and you know reconnect uh, our marriage together so yeah this is my it was my dream okay so put it there and what I want you to do is put an actual picture on it okay sometimes people can't see the image you see if you can't see it right you can't expect anything to happen Okay, whenever you have a dream, you have to be, you have to clearly see it in your mind. That's where your imagination comes in play. And then a lot of people, you know, they talk about wanting to do this, wanting to do that, wanting to, you know, do better, right? But they can't see the image of what it looks like in the future. And that is a problem. And when you don't see, you can't say that, oh, I see that, I see it. I cannot say, oh, I see, that's my dream, right? You can't clearly articulate, you can't, Clearly, uh, you can't, you, you don't really know it, okay, when you don't see it. So today, I really want you to see what your dream is. So put a picture in it, okay? Put a picture in it, okay? If you have trouble with that, what you can do is like, okay, in this hotel room, I'm actually in the hotel room in Porto, uh, Portugal. Okay, we arrive in, in Portugal and in this hotel room, there's this golden book, Porto and North, okay, 2022. So it's like something like a magazine and it has pictures of all the places in Porto, right? So I think I have a, a picture of a nightlife, okay, here in Porto. Okay, so you may get a, a picture, a travel catalog, okay, maybe go to Chan Brothers, go to EU holidays or whatever in, in Chinatown, in Suntec, and get a brochure, okay, of maybe the dream holiday that you wanted to, to go to, okay? Maybe you cut out a picture, okay, and then you put it there. Or if not, you know, you learn to draw and then draw out a scenery, 
draw out picture of you know what you are doing during the holiday. So that is just to give yourself a picture of what your dream is, right? And when you see it, then you finally see what your dream is, and you give yourself permission to actually dream. So a reinforcement of yesterday, today, make sure you have pictures in your dream list. In, that, in this new journal that I'm asking you to do. So please take it seriously. I tell you it's going to work wonders. Okay, like I say that 43% better chance of achieving it. Okay, when you have a written dream and you are able to share it with a friend. Okay, I hope that this helps. So that is challenge number four. Give yourself permission to dream. So I see you tomorrow. And we're going to be traveling to Lisbon, okay, in Portugal tomorrow in challenge number five. So with that, bye-bye.